Hey folks, Mike from Vaud RV. I would love to show you a unit that's affordable, a separate bunk room, and an outdoor kitchen in the J-Flight line. Right beside me here, I have a 2023 J-Flight 324 BDS. That's bunkhouse, double slide. That's what I'm going with. So if you're looking for something affordable, you're looking for something in aluminum, which is generally gonna be the affordable option, but you still need that space for the kids, and their cousins maybe, then this might be worth a look. I'm gonna point out a few things that are unique to 2023, some changes that Jayco's made as we walk through the unit. First one's gonna be really noticeable because I've got a 2022 unit sitting right next to this 23. See how the front facade looks different. Now we've got 0.04 thickness metal across the front of this. Uh, I like this, it's a little more resilient against uh, chips and so on from rocks getting thrown up. And it has an aerodynamic look to it and I personally like the gray color. It's a little easier to keep clean, a little more forgiving for bug splatter and stuff. So thumbs up on that. We're about 36 feet long and a little over 8,000 pounds dry weight on this. Some half ton trucks can pull it, others can't. When in doubt, check to be sure and do some research. We can help you th with that if you need. So we have twin 30-pound uh, propane bottles up here, battery tray right here behind. As is always the case, Vought will fully prep this unit before you take delivery, including installing a brand new battery. With electric tongue jack up here, it's lighted and power. So this makes hooking and unhooking a breeze and leveling it front to back super easy as well. Now I have pass-through storage here. So this goes through all the way to the other side and you can see that there's a little platform there. That's for your griddle. And that'll pop into a little fitting on the other side. So you have a griddle assembly next to your outdoor kitchen, which we'll get to in just a jiffy. I always appreciate that Jayco puts a data sticker both in the door and right here on the side. This is gonna give you a lot of valuable information. Most importantly, the dry weight, which is 8,015 pounds, the exact length right here. And it also will tell you uh, kind of helpful information, like if you fill the fresh water up, you're gonna be adding quite a bit of weight, 381 pounds, as you drive down the road. My advice, just keep a few gallons in there for the trip to wash your hands, flush the toilet, and get fresh water when you get to where you're going if you're not gonna have fresh water at your campsite. We have manual stabilizing jacks all the way around, uh, four corners I should say, so that's the last thing you're gonna do is drop those jacks down once you get the unit leveled. Now, notice two slides over here, so what do we like about that? The slides are over here, not taking up valuable patio real estate. And I'll show you why that's good when we get on the other side. Detachable 50 amp power cord here. There's a black tank flush valve here. Once you're ready to break camp and go home, open up those valves, go ahead and put that a separate hose on there and just let it run to rinse out that tank. And then go have a beverage and roll in the awning and uh, catch the cat and the dog and put them in the truck and all that while that's running and cleaning it out. Have our water heater right here, um, gas or electric, and now you know where we hide the keys, right? <laughs> okay, hot and cold shower right here. This is great, this is a perfect place. It's kind of private, I could put a shower curtain right here and uh, you know wash off the dog, your, your feet, your sandy feet at the beach. Your main city water connection here and your furnace vent all in this area right here. Now, sneaking around to the back. We're prepped for a camera, don't have a camera on this. With this length of a coach, wouldn't be a bad idea. So that's prepped, it's real easy for us to add a camera now or you could do it later both side cameras and rear camera if you want. Jayco always gives you a full-size spare and they always give you Goodyear American-made tires with a six-year warranty. Speaking of warranties, best warranty in the business. It's two years on the coach, three years structural. Nobody else is coming close to that in terms of warranty coverage. Now that griddle I was pointing out is gonna fit right in here, all right? So that arm goes in here so your cooking area right here and there's a propane quick connect right there, right next to your outdoor kitchen area. Open this up. 
So, nice big refrigerator, sink, utility drawers, and storage up here. I do have power up there to put a coffee maker, the margarator, the blender, what have you up there. I do have a light out here as well. So I'm cooking over here, got my beverages and supplies, utensils, washing my hands here, all in one space. Really handy. Now, you'll see two doors and a lot of people say, why do I have two doors? If you have two doors on a trailer, it means one of two things as I step in the shade. One of the doors is probably going to go in and out of a bathroom. The other scenario is, is when a slide comes in, you lose access to part of the coach. In this case, this door goes into the bathroom. So you're out on the patio. I've got a bunk room back here, so there's a pretty good chance you've got kids running around out here. They got grass on their feet, their feet are wet, whatever. They just been to the lake, sandy feet. They can go in and out of the bathroom from the patio right here and not have to traipse through the rest of the coach. In and out, they're not allowed past that door, kids. Go in there, use the bathroom, come back out. So that's an advantage of this kind of floor plan. So this might be considered a secondary entrance because after all, we are on the fun side of the camper. This is where all the fun stuff happens. It's where the picnic table and the fire pit and everything is over here. Now, LED light strip up there, that's gonna be true with all the J flights, LED light strip. You're going to have a Solera brand pull down to pitch awning. This is really neat. So if you want to pitch one side down a little more than the other, simply grab right in the middle and pull it down. That's all there is to it. Push it back up. You can do either side. So if it's sprinkling out and you want to run the water to one side or the other, it's real easy to do that. Um, what else? We have our speakers out here so I can stream music from my, can um, from my phone to those speakers. I can put my TV out here on this mount if I want, hook it up to cable, here's your power, and here's your potable water fill. So everything in our vented range hood right here too. Now standard in 2023 are these steps. Up until now, this kind of step was optional. Now on the J flights moving into 2023, these Lippert solid steps are standard. So really like these because they make firm contact with the ground and each leg is fully adjustable. So to adjust them, you're simply going to pull out on this tab where this little uh, collar is. You can adjust the legs up and down. Real easy to do. And also going in and out of the coach you're not transferring motion like you would with regular freestanding steps another neat thing about these is they have pins right here so if you're at a storage facility or some other place where you simply don't have room to extend the steps down you can pull those pins out and lift this whole assembly out and uh, still have access to your coach okay pretty cool stuff let's go inside and have a look Okay, now we're on the inside of this 324 BDS. You'll notice right away we've got a pretty sizable slide out here that has both a huge dinette and a sofa. Plenty big enough to put four or five, maybe six folks around that dinette. Now this, as always, drops down to become a bed too. So we can sleep a bunch of critters in here. Mom and dad up there, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to ten people, right? So a lot of room for the kids and their cousins if you want to really have a camping party. Now we're in the affordable version of a bunkhouse version J flight. Lots of floor plans have bunks. Fewer floor plans have a bunk room like this. I true I call this the true bunk house because let's go ahead and jump right into this. We have a separate room back here. The door closes completely. It's just a bunk room. Now, what's neat about this, I do have a bunk up here that drops down. And pop this up out of the way. Obviously, I have a bunk over here and a ladder to get up to it. TV would go in there, which you would provide if you'd like to do that. And there's additional storage right here. But what's neat is the flexibility of this side. All right, so you got kids and they're sitting here and they're gonna be on their phones, right? So somebody's sitting there and we're doing this. All right, well, let's say we have a TV in there and I wanna watch TV. I can simply pull these out like so and have a neat TV viewing deal 
like this. So now we're watching TV. Okay, what if I want to make it even more comfortable? And I want to hinge this like so. Put this down here. Now we're, we're, now we're talking slumber party, right? Boom, now it's TV, I can do this on both sides. Spread this all out and I have a king bed here. All kinds of ways you can organize this back here depending on your needs and you might even want to take this out completely. Take them out, put a little table and chairs in there for crafting or what have you. It's entirely up to you, but what I like is how flexible this space is back here. Now, this does close completely for privacy. Pointed out the bathroom before we came inside, so that door gives you access to the bathroom from the patio side. Now we have a tub shower combo. I think the theory is if you bought this unit and you have a bunk room back there, you probably got kids and a little bathtub is handy for kids. So we have a tub shower combo there. Uh, obviously a sink here, light switch power. We have a plastic foot flush toilet. A lot of folks ask me, can I upgrade that to a porcelain? Yes, you can. We can do that for you if you'd like. I'll go ahead and jump in here just for spatial. I'm six feet tall, not a huge shower, but big enough. This is a change in 2023 larger shower heads. Plenty of height here. I mean, I'm six feet tall, so you could be six feet five and still have room to take a shower. I do have a little extra storage across from here. Uh, clothes rod up there for hanging clothes. Nice. Now moving up into the galley, we have a 12 volt refrigerator here, uh, eight cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator. Big fan of these. It's a compressor fridge, so it works much like a residential refrigerator. Same cooktop as you've seen in the last couple years is a Furion three burner cooktop. There's your backsplash, easily removable for cleaning, your backlit controls, and your lighted oven and have a little microwave big enough for warming up leftovers and so on. This range hood is vented to the outside and it does have a light. There is more storage over here. Great pantry storage to the right of the fridge as well. So quite a bit of storage for uh, you know a traditional travel trailer. You don't always get a lot of pantry storage but you do in this case. We have solar on board here, so we're already equipped with solar up on the roof as well as a charge controller. You can expand that solar up to three panels if you like. This particular unit has one panel. If you want two or three, you can do that, but it's already got a charge controller and the starter pack up on the roof. Um, now this is true with all Jayco's. You're gonna have solid maple doors and all the styles are gonna be pocket screwed and glued together not particle board with tape on them to make it look like real wood. We have an undermount sink, high rise faucet, three drawers here. Again, solid maple drawer fronts and notice ball bearing drawer glides everywhere. Now, uh, more USB ports everywhere. That's a, a change moving into the new model year. Uh, lots of USB ports. This is kind of control central here, obviously power. This is our slide room, our awning. We can check our tank levels here, our water pump on and off, and water heater on gas, water heater on electric. Here's a quick tip. You got kids in here, you're all gonna go to the movie, or you're gonna go to the lake, or you're gonna go to the campfire sing-along, or whatever. You gotta run through the shower and you have limited time. You can turn the water heater on gas and electric at the same time, and it's gonna recover quicker. So you can get more kids in and out, in and out of that shower and on your way. It's not gonna hurt anything. Then when you get back, turn it back to just electric if you have electric, no use using propane if you don't need to. Um, and then we have light switches up here. Would have been really awesome if Jayco labeled those, but you'll figure it out, <laughs> okay? TV right here, so our little entertainment assembly. This is our Bluetooth stereo, so pair your phone to this and you can push music through this stereo, through the speakers in here or the speakers outside as well. I'm just screaming to have some shelves in here. This is uh, really kind of a strangely tall area without a shelf. Uh, so me personally, I'm gonna put some shelves in there. You know, if you're wondering 
A lot of people like to customize trailers and how do you do it? It makes us all nervous when we go to start drilling holes in the side of a trailer. Am I going to drill all the way through? And yes, people do that occasionally. One of the greatest things ever are these products called command hooks and command fasteners. Those things you can get them weighted up to over 60 pounds. What reminds me is you can get little uh, command fasteners to put in there and actually put a shelf in there without ever even drilling a hole. If you want to hang a clock, heck you could probably even hang a medicine cabinet with command fasteners without damaging the wall or having to drill a hole in it. All right, Maybe we'll do a separate how-to on that sometime. So we have two entrances in the, into the bedroom. Cameraman stepped through one, I stepped through the other, and we have sliding doors here to afford complete privacy. Now, I have a separate AC in, in here, so we're 50 amps, two AC units, so you can keep it nice and cool up here where probably mom and dad are gonna be sleeping. Um, reading lights above, I have storage here, and over here there's a closet rod for hanging shirts and so on. And you can see the solar charge controller on the wall right there. It's trying to send 13.4 volts to a battery that doesn't exist, but if you had a battery, that would be sending a pretty decent charge to the batteries that are installed up in the tongue of the trailer. Uh, queen bed on this guy, and there is storage underneath here. You've got these gas struts that hold it up. Nice amount of storage. As always, shop around and you should lift up the mattress of a trailer you're looking at and see what you see. Obviously this is plywood, not particle board or OSB. It's plywood, which is much stronger. It's more expensive and it doesn't off gas like particle board does. So you don't get that sort of formaldehyde smell as much in a Jayco. And part of the reason is because they're a plywood based builder. There's plywood under your feet, plywood here, plywood up in the roof structure. Speaking of roof structure, every Jayco roof from the little SLXs all the way up to the Eagles are rated for 4,500 pounds. So you and me and eight of our buddies could get up there. Not that we would ever really do that, but every Jayco roof is walkable. So you can get up there, wash it, do maintenance and do those kinds of things without worrying about jeopardizing the integrity of the roof. Why does that matter? Heaven forbid if a tree limb were to fall down, it might be a call to State Farm and not 911. And what's more, the roofing membrane on every Jayco has at least a 20 year warranty. So when you combine that to the two plus three warranty, the Goodyear tires with a six year warranty, the roof membrane with a 20 year warranty, that's a pretty stout warranty. Hey, what do you think? I'm most interested in what you think about this floor plan. If you have a question about this or other models, drop a comment below and we'll do our best to get to you. And also if there's a model that we haven't gotten to yet and you're anxious to see it, I promise we're trying to bring you all the 2023 units as they come on our lot. Take a second and click like and subscribe below. That way you'll be the first to know when we post more videos just like this. My name's Mike. I really appreciate you joining me and I'll see you next time. Howdy everybody, thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned a thing or two from what I had to say. If you did and feel like it, then click subscribe below. And when I post a video, you'll be the first to know. See you next time.